Hey guys, people who are desperately wanting to help someone or help the world are quite often broken and they're using uh, other people to heal their own problems. And this is really, really common. I remember when I started as a healer, right in the beginning I knew I had to, I was doing, helping for my, helping myself and helping others as a result. So right in the beginning I wasn't in that process where I saw a lot of people who were doing healing work and helping people to um to satisfy their own pain. I knew I was doing that. Uh, I came in with a different slant that I had to really work hard on my problems so then I could be the best person that I could be. And when I started working with a whole bunch of people, I realized that the health industry was broken. So many people were burnt out, busted, and uh, struggling simply because they were helping people with the wrong reasons. They end up busting themselves and burning out simply because they actually weren't putting the work into themselves. So I became the person who was doing the healer um, for the healers for, for years and years and years. And people have come and seen me busted, broken and in dismay and wondering whether they can help other people getting disease even when they were helping people with the diseases that they were um, you know, that they were helping with naturopaths who were addicted to staff or all sorts of things. So the idea around this is that are you running the wounded healer through helping people? And what's really, really important to understand is that if you are, you've got to make sure you dig into your staff so you don't end up having a consequence at the end of the day. It's really, really important to make sure that you really deal with your own things so you have the opportunity to work with what it is that you are going to solve so then you can help others in the best possible way. So this is the wounded healer archetype. A lot of people run it in the health industry and people need to really start digging more into their own stuff so they can make a bigger difference. I don't want to be that person who has to keep helping the people wounded. They need to start, continue. It's, it's a never-ending process. So when you're helping people in a healthy way, you have to be living it. I've seen a person who is a healthpreneur and she just, on, on my um, feeds and I look and, I, and she looks so unhealthy, she looks like she's going to die and she's giving people advice on health and I just don't get it. So guys, if you're in that place where you're helping people, you've got to make sure you're living by the sword and dying by the sword by changing every behavior that you do so you're living model of health and consistency otherwise you're going to be the wounded healer and you're going to end up opening your own wounds and making them bleed and then someone else is going to come and help and help and try and save you all right have an awesome day guys